let us see what happens in this activity. We have a glass and we are filling this glass with water. Now this glass is completely filled with water and what you have to do? You have to listen the sound produced when I am rubbing my wet finger on the circumference of the glass. So you must have heard the sound produced. Now what we will do, we will reduce the amount of water in the glass. I have reduced the amount of water. Now you hear the sound pattern and try to understand the difference. Definitely there is change in the sound pattern. Now I am reducing this water further and now hear the sound. Definitely there is some more change in the sound. Reducing the water further. Clearly, the sound which is produced now is sharper than the sound which was when the entire glass was, was filled with water. Okay, so there is definite change in the sound pattern. We will further discuss why. Reducing it further and making it very less. Let's see. As you can see, it is shriller, more shriller. Now what we are doing, we are decreasing and we are actually emptying the glass. Now what happens? Let's see. So this is very shrill sound. Now the question is, why does it happen? So you know, that there is, as we are reducing the water, so there is increase in the air column, length of the air column. And this air column is actually vibrating when we are rubbing the finger. Okay. But we are also changing the length of the air column. 